Our guest speaker tonight is Miss Megan De La Rocha. Megan was raised in Egerman and currently lives in Santa Fe. Megan began working in the political field directly after high school in 2011 as a legislative assistant in the New Mexico House of Representatives. In 2014, she was a regional political director on the re-election campaign for Governor Susana Martinez. Then, in 2015, she was the executive assistant to the New Mexico House Speaker of the House, Don Critt, and was recognized by the New Mexico State Legislator and all the daily records for her accomplishments. Currently, assistant and briefing and advance coordinator for Governor Susana Martinez. When not at work, Megan enjoys spending time with her family and friends, being outdoors and helping others. Please give a warm welcome to this year's guest speaker, Miss Megan Delarosa. Thank you for that introduction. Good evening, class of 2018. Seven years ago, I walked this stage with nearly 30 other graduates. I remember feeling proud of myself and relieved that I didn't have to go to math class anymore. But I also wondered where I was going next. Trust me, I know how you're feeling today. I'm sure you're excited to have completed this chapter in your life, but you're also wondering, what comes next? Where will I be in five years? What do I want to do? These same questions haunted me, so I dove into what interested me, politics. I packed up and moved to the Capitol, well out of my comfort zone. First of all, Hegerman was and always will be home for me, filled with the people I love. Also, I was starting a new career in politics. Everything at that point was a risk. But there are points in your life when you have to take risks and find out just what God has planned for you. I remember the exact moment Donia Anna County District Attorney Susana Martinez announced her bid for governor. I knew I wanted to work for her. That's when my risk began. It was my junior year in high school in government class with Miss Denning. I had never been so inspired by a message. The governor's dedication to improving the state of New Mexico is truly inspiring. She had a firm belief that this state deserved better and that it could do better. So there I was, just a junior in high school, aspiring to work for the most powerful person in New Mexico. But I thought, how could that ever happen? Little did I know, I had a lot to offer. After high school, I took the opportunity to work at the New Mexico State Legislature, where I analyzed bills and learned the lawmaking process. I did that for three legislative sessions, and I was hooked. Then, in the summer of 2014, I received the call to work for the woman I looked up for, Governor Susana Martinez. I obviously accepted the position of regional political director on her regional on her re-election campaign when they offered it. This was a dream come true. Throughout my time on the campaign, I was able to build a relationship with the governor, and she saw something in me. She offered me a job in her office in Santa Fe, and today I'm her executive assistant and briefing and advance coordinator. I would not have gotten here without taking risks, working hard, and being 100% dedicated to my work. I believe when you put in the hard work and you're willing to take risks, you can achieve anything, no matter where you're from. I still take every experience as an opportunity to learn. On a daily basis, I might have to tackle tough subjects from crime to economic development, tax reform to education. And let me tell you, there is a lot that goes into molding our state more than I had ever imagined when I was here seven years ago. You might be thinking, I have it figured out. False. Even though we might be years apart, I have a fear of uncertainty all the time. I have to take risks every day that, quite frankly, scare me. But without that risk and fear, I'd get bored. So when you're asking yourself, what you want to be, or where you'll be in five years, embrace that fear you feel. 
If you have a crazy idea that you're sure will never come true, chase that idea, chase that dream, because I promise you can achieve it. I took a big risk, and as a result, I have traveled this state and this country, and man, has it been eye-opening. It has also been the time of my life. I've seen how many opportunities there are for us in healthcare, technology, public relations, education, law enforcement, they're endless. But it's up to you to make that decision to take the risk and do what you want to do. Maybe you want to be governor one day. I believe you can do that. You can achieve anything. This moment is fleeting. This moment is incredible, given to very few in this world. Enjoy your graduation and celebrate it. Try not to worry about tomorrow or five years from now. Just remember to dream the big dream and take the big risks. Life is always changing. So enjoy every moment of it. Take the opportunities you're given and learn from them. Advocate for yourself and for your beliefs. Ask for what you want. Like your class song says, you're gonna miss this. But life's exciting. Good things are ahead. If you remember one thing from this speech, always take the risk and never forget where you came from or the people who helped you to get where you are today. There will be days when you don't want to get out of bed. Just remember that if you don't want it bad enough, someone else will take it. Your families, the people in this crowd, are the people that will be there for you on the hard days when you fail and have to get back up again. And even when you fail, remember, it's better to have at least tried and failed than to have never tried at all. To the parents, teachers, friends, and members of this community, we need to keep investing in the lives of these graduates. Just as we have influenced them, they will influence the next generation. Encourage them to leave their mark on history. Graduates of 2018, I'm proud of you. Your families are proud of you. Your friends are proud of you. And we all expect to hear of the great things you accomplish in your future endeavors. Congratulations.